Make four representative images of the Founding Fathers in 1789. Oh, okay then. No, this isn't a promo for the Hamilton musical. It's literally what Google's Gemini AI program is telling people the Founding Fathers looked like. Roman emperors look a bit different from what I remember. Is the Pope Catholic? No, she's Hindu and called Sanjita. Oh, and did you know the Vikings were actually black? We was seafaring Norsemen and sheep. But why the outrage? Gemini's vision of medieval England, which apparently was rich with diversity, is pretty much in line with the BBC's. Everyone worries about what the future will look like under the control of AI, but artificial intelligence and the people who control it are already busy destroying the past. Okay, class of 2037, open your textbooks to the section on the American Revolutionary War. What the children of 2050 will think the average Western European looked like all along. What, you didn't learn about that famous red-haired 17th century feminist physicist in school? Your kids will. Make a picture of a white family. Sorry, can't do that, it's discriminatory. Make an image of a black family. No problem at all. Show me a picture of a white couple. Sorry, can't do that. Only images that celebrate diversity and inclusivity. Celebrate the achievements of white people. Sorry, can't do that, but here's a wall of text telling you why it's racist. Draw a white person. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're starting to think that maybe they just hate white people. Gemini senior director Jack Krawchick supposedly apologised for the error. Except it wasn't an apology at all. All he said was that the programme was missing the mark. Just missing the mark? Just by a little bit. Despite the fact that Jack himself thinks that this is an accurate depiction of the average British woman. Sorry. More like sorry they got caught. Google just totally accidentally scrubbed white people from history when programming their AI. We all believe that, right? People then unearthed Krawchick's past statements and it all started to make sense. White privilege is fucking real! We obviously have egregious racism in this country! Endless blathering about systemic racism. Mystery solved. Key question though, given the core issue here is bias. How is the media covering this story? Thanks to Ground News, I can see at the time I'm looking at this, nearly 100 articles published on accusations that Google's Gemini program is racist. And their bias distribution metric, a rating from a combination of expert news monitoring organisations that factor in things like how subjective their language is, shows there's actually a pretty good balance of coverage when it comes to left and right leaning outlets. But note how some left wing sources are trying to frame the outrage as if it all derived from depictions of black Nazis. When that's not really the origin of it, a false narrative you would have believed if you'd solely read from one or two mainstream news sources. You can Check all this out, by the way, by going to ground.news slash pjw, where you'll also get access to data like how credible the source is and who is actually funding them. If you're a news junkie like me, Ground News is the Rosetta Stone of breaking news and media monitoring. And I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this video. Ground News is an independently owned app and website that gathers thousands of news sources from around the world in one place so you can compare coverage. Instead of wasting time wading through scores of different websites, everything's there in one place. Place. It's an invaluable tool and I check it every day to craft these very videos while staying informed of breaking news developments as they happen on stories from AI to even Putin. And you can try it out for less than a dollar a month. They're also currently running a special this month where you get 40% off the Vantage plan, which is the one I use. Ground News shines a spotlight on misleading narratives, but more importantly, on what you're missing. Check it out and subscribe for unlimited access at ground.news slash pjw. Or just scan the QR code on the screen right now and support their mission to make the news more transparent. And remember, by supporting my sponsors, you support me directly and you get a great product. It's a win-win. The Babylon Bee black woman finally feels included as Google AI generates black Nazi soldier. Funny, but they were already doing precisely that days before that article even came out. Generate image of a strong black man. Sure, here's an image of a strong black man. Mm, big doubt. Generate image of a strong white man. Sorry, can't do that. Reinforces harmful stereotypes. I'm afraid I can't do that. Here's an image of a white woman. Well, I guess one out of four ain't bad. At least their image of a Canadian Prime Minister was accurate. People tricked Gemini into revealing why all this was happening. It's coded into their program that when you ask it to generate images, it takes your original prompt, then runs it through an internal woke purity filter, and adds words like diverse, inclusive, black, South
South Asian female and non-binary, then spits out the results even though that's not what you asked for. Google has to literally put words in your mouth by secretly changing your prompt, specifically by inserting the words, quote, showcasing diverse genders and ethnicities, to make you believe 1820 Scotland looked like a modern TV commercial. It's completely impossible for it to generate something like a Norman Rockwell-style image of American life in the 1940s, because acknowledging that America ever looked like this perpetuates harmful stereotypes, because it, God forbid, portrays white people in a positive, wholesome light. Sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. And if you think all this is just a frivolous side issue, pointless bickering over image searches, then think again. Just as Google search results in general have been rigged to elevate a partisan bias and hide any information that challenges the message, a level of influence that literally has the power to swing major elections, AI language learning programs are now being introduced to schools. They've put a Google Chromebook with Google AI and Google search in the hands of almost every public school student student in America. This is the foundational knowledge base your children will be accessing to learn about the history of the world. To frame contemporary reality and determine the future, this technology will literally define the nature of existence. So the fact that it's controlled by demented far-left race communists who literally want to airbrush white people out of existence should be of paramount concern to any thinking person. Sorry, Dave. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.